You start cooking the Sunday dinner yet? I am coming for dinner today. But before we can even get to dinner, I've been trying to eat my breakfast for the last three hours. And between watching church online, doing work, I have not. Um, part of the problem too is I put all the ingredients in there and when it doesn't blend out, it's quite water watery. I mean, can I drink a water watery smoothie? So I think I know the one thing that it needs and I'm gonna go get it. Now you see, this is a problem, you know. I came here for one thing to finish this smoothie. And as always, I end up with a bag of something that will cost me more than me really coming here for. You have red banana? Yeah. Gross with your lard and other one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Everything's right. good? Everything good. We have life. We have everything. No. Yeah, okay. You good? Yeah. All right, Same Papa. philosophy. See you, All right. All right, Papa. Bless up. So, I finally got my banana. But you know, in the search for this thing, <laughs> I realized something. Not even about the banana, but about life. Sometimes in life, it's worth it for search for one thing. Because your blessing may very well be in that one thing. Finally. Yeah. So here's what I want to talk to you about today. Is that a lot of your life, a lot of our lives could have looked really different if we didn't really go focus on the one thing. I want to say one thing. <laughs> me know me didn't need a banana. We could have gone to the store and come out when I didn't find it and keep looking for the banana. But no. I went and I got the coconuts. And I said, oh, the price is good. So I'm going to take one, I take six. <laughs> I said, oh, maybe I'm going to make some soup. I take six. <laughs> I say, you know, all of the June plum them run out. I take six. So who are the coconuts in your life? Who are the noodles? Who are the distractions? Who are the things you end up? The things and the people you end up picking up because you're getting distracted from what you really should be focusing on. How many are you chasing the titles, the board appointments, the promotions in the job? All of these things when, have you even got down on your knees? Have you even got in silence and quiet and just pray and say, yo God, you are the creator. Where you create me for though? What is my one thing? Because you don't want to miss the opportunity to do that thing that is so aligned with your purpose that your life could have been at a whole different level right now. But because you're so busy being the overachiever, pleasing everybody, being everything to everybody, hey, it took you 20 years when you could have achieved that in two or three. It could have had one good wife a long time ago, but you were busy chasing 20 other girlfriends. Are you a human sister? You could have a good man, you know. But you never did a look for that. You did a look for who I tell you say you're pretty and your body sought out and you're an asset to them and you make a certain money. So you're busy at play the game and try to find the man and climb up the corporate ladder and wait left you with. Are you? You had it all. But because it didn't look like what other people said it needed to look like, the distractions came in. And that's all of us. Can I know when I'm immune to this, you know? Don't, don't be that person. Not do it. Sometimes we don't get the time back. Sometimes by the time you get there and you discover you're either too old or you're not well or the access and the opportunity and the people who you had around you who would have helped you to push that thing forward, not there. So find your one thing. And don't be so busy trying to get everything that you miss God. Because when you find that one thing, you get everything. All right? So happy Sunday. Me, I got to enjoy the rest of my smoothie. Because I found my one thing. See you in the week. Bye-bye.